Good evening, everyone, and welcome to one more gathering where we read inspiring messages that hopefully will touch all of our hearts this evening. Today, I'll be reading a message from the book Living Spring, written by Francisco Cândido Xavier by the Spirit Emmanuel, item 165, Do Not Doubt. He who doubts is like a wave on the sea, blown and tossed about by the wind. James chapter 1 verse 6. In your acts of faith and hope, do not let doubt interpose itself like a shadow between your needs and the power of the Lord. In your endeavors, the coagulating power of your thoughts proceeds from yourself, from deep within your soul, because only those who have faith can persevere in climbing the steps that will take them to heights they hope to reach. On the outer plane, doubt may help with experimentation in this, in this or that area of material progress. Hesitation in our inner world, on the other hand, undoes our finest energies. Those who doubt themselves disturb the divine help within them. No one can help those who do not help themselves. Understanding the imperative of trust that should guide our course ahead, let us insist on the good and seek it with all the strength we have. Let us abandon hurry and turn our backs on discouragement. It does not matter if our conquest is triumphant today or tomorrow. What matters is working and doing the best we can here and now because life will bring us what we seek. Pressing forward without hesitating, loving, learning, and helping tirelessly. That is the formula for walking successfully to our victory. And on this tireless journey, let us not forget that doubt will always be like the code of defeatism, leading us towards denial and death. With this inspiring message, I invite everyone to close our eyes, elevate our thoughts, elevate our heart full of gratitude to our dear Master Jesus, to our dear mentors, and to all of our brothers and sisters that somehow are part of this beautiful journey, helping us and giving us support in our path of growth and evolvement every day in this incarnation. Let's be thankful for one more day in this physical body, for the opportunity that so many of us take so long to conquer and once we are in this physical body, let's take advantage of every possibility that we have to learn and become better individuals. As this beautiful prayer or this beautiful message says, let's continue to work and do the best that we can because life will bring us what we seek. Let's continue to love, learn, and help. And that's what is expected of us, being loving and charitable. Let's ask that our dear Jesus helps us to find opportunities to be loving and charitable with one another, helping us to go through all the tough times in our lives and that we can have strength and believe do not doubt that we are by ourselves.